Hi, my name is Ale, and in this video I will be showing you how we can use a list view in Swift UI, as well as how we can use navigation links to navigate between one view and another in your app. In Swift UI, Apple introduced navigation link, greatly simplifying navigation between views. We can embed the content of each row of the list inside a navigation link, providing the view that should be displayed when the row is selected. That means no more UI kit table view delegates or data sources, nor implementing did select row at index path. We're going to be building an app like this one. Each row in the list shows a different emoji, along with its name. Tapping on any of them will take you to a detailed view that shows the name, the emoji, as well as a short description. Let's start by defining a structure that will represent each of the emoji in the list. We will call this structure emoji item, and it will have four properties, an ID, an emoji, a name, and a description. Struct emoji item, which is identifiable. We will first add the ID, let ID equals UUID. The emoji will be a string. The name will be a string. And the description will be a string as well. Now that we have defined the emoji item structure, let's start working on the UI of our app. Before we do that, we're going to create a list of emoji items that will be displayed on the list view of the app. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this, and I'll share the URL in the description so you can use this list, or you can create your own list as well. Great, now that we have our list of emoji items, let's work on the UI. We're going to embed all the content of the app inside a navigation view. And in this navigation view, we're going to add our list. So let's first create a list view whose content will be the emoji list we just added. And for each emoji item, we're going to add the content of the row. This content will be the emoji as well as the emoji's name. So let's first work on adding the emoji. We will put this in a C stack. And inside this stack, we're going to add some text to represent or to show the emoji. This text will have a shadow with radius 3. It will have a font of large title and I will give it a frame of 65 points for both the width and the height. And finally, I'm going to add an overlay, which will contain a circle with a purple stroke and a line width of 3. Dot overlay, circle, dot stroke, color.purple, line width 3. Now I'm going to add the name of the emoji to the right of the emoji. To do this, I'm going to embed my Z stack inside a horizontal stack. You can press the command key on your keyboard and then click and select embedding H stack. And just below the Z stack, I'm going to add some text whose content will be the emoji item's name. This text will have a font of headline. I'm also going to add some padding around my horizontal stack with a value of 7.
and I'm going to give my navigation bar a title that will be emoji. We can use navigation bar title and then provide a string and I will use emoji. Great. So let's run our app. As you can see, we have a list of emojis and we can see the emoji along with its name. Now, if we select any of the rows on this list, nothing happens because we haven't implemented any action. So we're gonna go back to our code and use a navigation link on each row of the list so that tapping on it will take us to a detailed view. Let's go back to our code and embed the content of each row in our list inside a navigation link. So let's go ahead and copy everything and delete it for now and add a navigation link. For now, the destination will just be an empty view. And the label will be the content of the row. By using navigation link, we can navigate to whatever view we provide as the destination. So for now, we're using an empty view, but let's run the app and see how this looks. So we see our list and tapping on a row takes us to a new view. This view is empty, but we will now create a details view that we will provide as the destination so that we can see more details about each emoji. Before we implement the details view, I'm going to create a reusable view for the circular view of the emoji since we're going to be using it both here on each row of our list as well as on the details view. So let's copy this content in the C stack and let's create a new structure, struct emoji circle view, which is a view and it will need an emoji item and for its body, I'm going to put what we copied and now we can reuse this emoji circle view in our list so we can delete it here emoji item and we're also going to use it in the details view let's create the details view so we're going to write struct details view which is also a view and it will also need an emoji item let emoji item which is of type emoji item and let's work on the body for the body I'm gonna use a vertical stack which will have an alignment of leading Inside this stack, I'm going to use a horizontal stack. This horizontal stack will include an emoji circle view with the provided emoji item. And this emoji circle view will have a padding of 5 on the trailing side. Next to the emoji circle view, I'm going to add some text to show the emoji's name. This will have a font of large title. And it will also be bold. I'm going to add a spacer to make sure that Everything in this horizontal stack is shifted to the left side of the screen. Now, below the horizontal stack, I'm going to add the description of the emoji item. So this will be embedded in a text element, text. The content will be emoji item dot 
description and it will have, have some padding on the top side. I'm also going to add a spacer here so that the content of our vertical stack is all the way to the top of the screen. Finally, I'm going to add some padding around all of these vertical stack. I'm going to update the title in the navigation bar so that it shows the name of the emoji using the navigation bar title modifier. This is a text element and I'm going to use the name of the emoji item as the string. I'm also going to change the display mode of the navigation bar so that it uses the inline display mode and this means that we're going to be using the shorter version or smaller version of the navigation bar as opposed to the bigger one that shows very large titles. So we can do this by providing a display mode and in this case we're going to use inline. So now that we have our details view defined, we can go ahead and update the destination of our navigation link. So instead of providing an empty view, I'm going to provide a details view, which will need to have an emoji item. So let's delete empty view and provide a details view instead with an emoji item. Now let's go ahead and run our app and see how it looks. So we have our list of emoji and since we embedded each row of the list inside a navigation link, we now get this arrow icon that lets us know that we can navigate to a different view. And since we implemented the details view, we should now see some details about the emoji instead of the empty view that we saw before. So let's click on one of them. Great. So as you can see, we have the emoji with its name as well as the description. And in the navigation bar, we have the emoji's name as the title. And we'll, we're also using a shorter version of the navigation bar, which is different from the larger navigation bar that we see in the main view of our app. Great, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed watching it. If you want to learn more about iOS development, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting more videos very soon. Thank you for watching.